All right, here we have the TAS 57 M70 suspenders and uh, TAS 57 Alpenfage Kampfensung camo. These pants were meant to be integrated with the M70 jacket. So here's M70 jacket compared to the TAS 57 pants, and it does look quite different with because it has this waterproof layer, but this waterproof layer is the same that's on the elbows with the M70 jacket, and as you can see, it does degrade. This material kind of acts as a little bit of a waterproof layer. Some Swiss soldiers didn't like this material at all and would actually cut it off their pants because it would get hot and sweaty because you basically have just a snow pan on. And during summer operations, I imagine that could get pretty, pretty stanky and pretty uh, not nice to be in. But on the back, it doesn't have that material. I have used these pants and I've actually like, you know, gone out in the woods and like played airsoft in them, you know, haven't done any, like haven't gone to war in them or anything. This is only BB Wars and, um, this material can does show signs of wear quite quickly, and there's several pictures of this material just looking like absolute ass. You know, the entire pant looking gray because the material is just separating. So like right here on the crotch, when like you crotch down, this material gets stretched, and you can definitely see it, and that's not good. <laughs> These uh, pants, they do integrate to the Taz 57. M70 jacket, you have these um these strings here, and these will go in to these, and I'll show you guys how to do that here in a second. But Alright guys, here we have the suspenders on my desk, and we're going to attach the M70 jacket to them. So it's kind of like a layer jacket here. It's, I'm doing it on a really short desk because I'm kind of an idiot. What I want to do is um you have uh, these teeth here that's going to keep it in place. So I think, okay guys, I think that um you can just push it through here like so and then pull it back through there and then you can tighten it tighten it down so that's probably the wrong way to do it but that's how you connect them and you know it ain't coming out until you pull it out and to adjust it just you know pull this like that once you got it adjusted to slap it through that hole again and put it there so when it comes to material, these pants are made of a cotton polyester twill, as you can see, very durable type of fabric. On the inside, you have a tag here, which gives the size. So this is made out of 50% polyester and 50% cotton. And there's all of your instructions there. It kind of reminds me of the Taz 83 tag. And the M70 jacket, there isn't really a tag, or at least on mine, it's kind of faded. Yeah, so here on the has a three jacket you have that kind of shiny tag that's similar to these pants so these pants were made in 1984 so that is interesting for the m70 jacket might be late production i don't know these were used you know into the 1990s so you know that's, that's not really that bad nice twill material very durable and then you have the that waterproof material which is not the, not that good when it comes to features these pants are just like the m70 jacket they are absolutely smothered in pockets and features and they were meant to be you know an all-in-one kind of system with the m70 jacket i get deeper into that in my previous video on the m70 jacket but these pants were very utilitarian and were made with a purpose and that was to carry loads of shit so you have these suspenders here nice suspenders made of the same twill material some suspenders are a different pattern than these they have, like sometimes these suspenders will have like belt loops mine doesn't have belt loops it has suspenders and this like harness will be different with more fabric or some shit one thing i don't like about this jacket is these, these rattle a little bit if you're not wearing the jacket with it and it's kind of annoying when it comes to features on these suspenders you have this um button system here we got a you have uh, several buttons here you can adjust it to your preferred size so you have these two buttons here you can get tighter and you also have three buttons up here so you can get tighter and adjust to your waist size and these are just the metal snap cap buttons as you can see very nice shiny buttons i might say on the back of your pants you have one back pocket that's closed by a button and here i have like granola bar trash from like a hike so i gotta clean that out i forgot that pocket even existed but very nice pocket <laughs> you also have these uh, thigh adjustments that you can tighten this uh better to your thigh and you want it tighter same thing for calves like knee area button adjusting system and on the ends you have these uh laces here where you can tighten and blast your boots which is a very nice feature i like these uh these cords way more than like the bdu type of blouse because they you know they feel more sturdy and they're just better. These pants also have pass-through pockets, which are closed by three zippers. All right. 
so these are just pass through pockets so you can wear these over like a, a wool uniform or something and you can you know go into your under uniform and do your thing on each side of the pant you have these absolutely gargantuan fucking trouser pockets these are like my, the most these have to be some of the best trouser pockets ever cargo pockets I mean you can fit so much shit in there that's like the size of a butt pack so you have these uh loops in here where you can fit like a grenade or some shit and carry loads of stuff two little spaces here so you can put some grenades and they'd be holding in there and on the other pocket i do believe it is the same but on the other pocket it's the exact same thing hold loads of shit just have button you know the button system and you can adjust it to you know how whatever how much shit you have in here so i want to see how much shit we can fit in just one of these pockets all right guys we have this fucking thing all the way you know not tightened down nothing in it so we're gonna see how many canteens usgi one core canteens we can fit in just one of these pockets okay one absolutely swallow two side by side and still definitely close to pockets even on the tightest setting Ooh, three's a tight fit oh yeah okay so three is definitely a tight fit there you can fit three canteens kind of like that but you won't be able to close it when you have that third canteen here so i would say practical the practical application of this is just two canteens side by side you can definitely fit those that's about 64 ounces of water and let's see if i can fit an MRE in there all right here we have a reduced sodium mre and these are just about oh we have vegetables on too so this is just a, a good space space take i guess Ooh yeah fit two canteens and uh vegetables on the mre yeah, so you can fit two canteens and a one MRE in here pretty easily. Probably fit way more into this, but overall, definitely a good size. Definitely a good size pocket there, so. Okay, guys, now I'm going to show you what it looks like when you put these on and how they are and show you just the features and stuff. So, no, side down one. Just over some lighter hammer jaws here. See that there? All right, we got our shuttle. Then we're going to button her up. I'm going to do all the buttons here. Then we got our suspenders, and we're going to try and get them as straight on our back as possible. You can adjust the suspenders, but that's what it looks like. I hope you guys can see it. Very nice suspenders, and you can adjust them with these uh, little, little tabs here. If you want to adjust your suspenders, you just pull it tighter. Get all the way down, and you can get real, real tight like that, similar to how you attach suspenders. That is how make these spinners tighter and yes they do get tangled a little bit it's kind of annoying but um yeah that's how they be but, um yeah if you guys um if you guys do do suspenders properly it won't look like that or whatever but um yeah i'm gonna take suspenders off because i don't usually mess these suspenders kind of mess with my mobility but if you guys can get you can get pretty down in here but there's waterproof material it stretches a little bit which is you know not the best so if you guys don't want the suspenders you guys can wear these pants alone so all you do there I'm gonna unbutton this so it's a bit easier. Take suspenders, just shove them in, like so. I want you to shove the suspenders in. Now you got no suspenders, and these pants can be worn as is. These pockets are good quality pockets, but they have like this little stitch in here, which makes it like has like this. It's just weird. This stitch in the bottom of the pocket just makes these pockets a bit um, unique, I guess. And that stitch. Oh, especially in the left pocket, there's like a stitch that divides it like halfway through. I think that might just be like a design flaw or maybe a mistake. But like right here, there's a stitch in this pocket and it goes through the pant and into the pocket. And I think that might be a defect. That's probably what's going on here. All right, guys, so here's the inside the pants. And here we have that zipper. Very nice. re, -re zipper. Interesting stitching here. But um, here's the pocket mistake I was talking about. As you guys can see, there's a stitch right there. And that divides the pocket and that goes into the outer cargo pocket on the but on the other pocket you can you know pull it all the way out and you know no problem there's no stitch there so i think that was just a mistake on the like production quality or some shit but here's the inside the pants look like it's very interesting to see that camo on the outside these are not reversible or anything but this is kind of cool okay, so now i got the m70 jacket on and i want to attach the suspenders so what we're going to do is we're going to slap this through here And then bam, our jacket is now attached and then coming out. So you can kind of use the jacket as itself as suspenders, which is kind of cool. Bam, and just like that, you have your suspenders attached. We'll zip this up, the full, full garb on. So now we got the jacket and the suspenders attached, which is very cool. 
So to do the thigh adjustments, you have um, Jesus Christ, where the fuck's this cord? Okay, so you have this, and to pull it tighter, you know, you just pull it tighter, and that'll get it, you know, tighter around your thigh. You get it really tight, but um, I would recommend not doing that because that kind of restricts the mobility when you're kneeling down. So probably shouldn't do that until you know adjust it. Just pull it, pull it back, and you can, you know, get it all the way out here and have a really nice, relaxed fit. Squat down way easier. Same thing on the other side. Right now, I'm just gonna completely unadjust those so I can just get down here real low, real easily, real easily without worrying about this shit tearing. So for the calf, for the back to the knee adjustments, you can do the same thing. Get it real, real tight, like so. Shit. If you get too tight and you're just too big, it will just pop off. So, you know, American, American problems. So bam, that's how you do the back of the knee adjustment. And then for our calves, same thing. You just unbutton it. If you want to get, my calves are too big, so I'm just going back on sitting I had it on. And that's how you do the calf adjustment. And then the boot blouse, pretty self-explanatory. All you do is you just, you know, pull it out to the side, get it around your boots. And then, you know, tighten it down like that. Boom, boom. Roll like that, and then you know you can put it over your boot. You know, no problem. Have a bit of a blouse look. That's how you adjust these suspenders and uh, attach them to the jacket and stuff. So sorry about this review. It's a bit all over the place, but I'm trying. Now I'm just gonna show every little feature so people can look at it. I guess For in the future, that's the stitch work. That's what it looks like on the inside. Very neat. A couple loose threads here and there, but these pants are literally older than me by like twofold. Like three fold, like four fold, like all the folds, seven fold. Bam. Very nice. Hey guys, when it comes to the review part, these pants, when I was used to them in the forest, um, they were they did get kind of hot and sweaty. I did overheat in these a little bit. And uh, that's not the greatest thing ever. So this the material, you will overheat in it. I mean, I don't know, at least I overheated in it. And uh, these pants, though, are great, great material, guys. These are, these, these, they are military surplus, yes, but these are good quality, like any Swiss, Swiss gear. Twill is amazing, and these pants aren't going to, you know, snag or tear. The only thing that's going to really snag and tear is just waterproof material. But, you know, like I said in my previous video, this is an attempt at innovation a long time ago. So, you know, don't hate it too much. It does have its purpose, you know, trench warfare or some shit. These pants, these pants might have been the move. But yeah.